that they're probably those who don't play the skins that make the most of them. Yeah, but that's a, so a super nice to see. All right, but we will be having the Diddy Kong from Barbaric. Okay. Yeah, he's been grinding on this character, so I'm excited to see him just continue to uh, use it in bracket here at Waking Cake. That's so hard to do. Man, I looked away for one second. Was Barbaric yeah, all right. do a job one okay. to grab? Okay. okay, we finally see the aggressive barrels. We didn't see that the last time. Okay, good patient play there. And a Z drop, banana. Not gonna get too much, get too much traction off of it, yeah. Okay, back attack, but I'm just trying to pick the cross up. Just lose the dark to that and keep your situation. That's our bad there. Okay, convert. we got the banana still. Okay, forward throw is gonna connect. Throws, and now the oh, oh no, no missing the red. punish. Okay, I, no, I mean, okay. Oh jeez, okay. I really, really wanted that neutral B. Yeah. I'm realizing uh, Barbaric's in game tag is neutral too, so yeah. maybe just trying to keep himself dialed in. Play neutral to wrap up the mana. We saw it with the Falco earlier, but I don't know how you can do that. Alright, but are gonna connect, take it right off the top. There's some advantage off the platform, but not getting much off of it without getting reversal. Yeah, and this is where Luge loves to play. When his opponent has to approach him, he does really well negating it's, any of their approach options. It's really easy to think you have an opening against Tyra Mithra as well, especially Mithra, because so many of those aerials are so safe it's so slow. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the fact that she's so many of her options are feel so unreactable too. I hope doesn't quite kill. Oh, not gonna get the banana while Mithra's on the ground. And now this is starting to run away a little bit from Barbaric. Yeah, I think the theme that we've really been seeing from Barbaric on stream so far has been him having a tough time sealing stocks, and we're seeing that now as uh, Luge is fit, living to 160. Okay, back row. Oh wow. Oh, that feels so bad. Oh, Z-drop there. Z-drop there. Okay, I like it. I haven't been seeing that. Like oh, weird that. trip. Okay. That's where we got the F-Smash. The two hit F-Smash mixes people sometimes. Yeah, you spot that the first hit of the night. Yeah, exactly. It's like when you're staring at Ganondorf in the face and you spot yeah. that, like... Oh, boy. Very <laughs> well. Yeah, it's like, oh, nice. You spot dodged the, the weak hit. <laughs> Back on the Pyro, we've seen a lot more Pyro from Luge in this set than we have in the previous set. I don't know if it's, it's comfort in the matchup or just finding that it's working against the bear. Yeah, Mythos kind of stomach coming out to play still, even though Barbaric's at such a high percent. Okay, maybe just one of them on the Oh, really stage. went low for that one. Jeez, okay, neutral okay. sending straight up. Don't get the advantage. Luge just knows where Barbaric is. Okay, going. setting up the ledge trap. Oh, again hitting, oh, or just throwing him in it a little forward. early. Okay, we got the air dodge back. Okay, good air dodge from Barbaric there. Okay. Punish, but had to read. Oh, dash grab whiffing there is gonna oh, offer Luge a big hit with yeah. that uh, Pyra forward air. Yeah, I mean that first stock was very even back and forth. It really just came down to Barbaric having to work back from disadvantage. Yeah, this is uh, getting double life out of those late pyro stocks. Yeah, so I mean, even though um, obviously the the Falco is uh, much more uh, practiced and well versed in the waking kicks, I'm I'm glad that he's sticking to the the Diddy Kong. He's kind of forcing the position of learning the character, learning the matchups. Things out, realizing it's not the matchup, it's him. I didn't see the we go, we're just trying to pass, okay. Yeah. I respect it, I mean Diddy Kong has a lot of space to work with when it comes to being able to pull banana. Uh, but at the same time... <laughs> Swing! Yeah. <laughs> Seems like Luge is not afraid to just kind of run in with Mithra. You've got seven minutes, it's okay, you don't need to do this. <laughs> when was the last time you saw like, a match go time that wasn't silent? I think, I think at a waking cake, oh it just waits a little bit too long. Unfortunate. Taking a hands off a little bit on that, that unfortunate early shot. Yeah, I think uh, historically when it comes to Wake and Cake, the longest game we've had has reached like maybe 90 seconds left. 
Uh, we've never had one go to time on stream at least for Lincoln Cake. Well, it's probably close to that 90 second mark on that last game. Good. Oh, okay, okay. And really, I mean, for me personally, when games go that long, I'm not even realizing that the game's going that long. Yeah, exactly. Like... It really depends on what's going on. Yeah, exactly. If those players are just running around shadowboxing, it's a lot more exciting <laughs> as opposed to just running from one side of the stage, shoot a projectile, run to the other side, shoot a projectile. Oh, yeah, oh, down air up here. Oh, got aggressive on the monkey flip and it didn't work out. Alright, once again, Barbaric has Luge at a high percent. Wow, okay, clean conversion from Luge there. Forward air into the up special too. So much damage being snowballed on right now. Blazing end, getting aggressive. It's interesting to see such different play from Luge. Oh my gosh, that might be it. Oh, okay. Versus the previous set. We're not seeing the Blazing end, like perhaps we're seeing much more aggressive play. Yeah, we just have caught on what to expect from Barbaric, but. And yeah, dashing into a forward tilt. Uh, Still going to survive. Right. Okay, it's not over. Jeez, barely made it by. I don't know how. Okay, okay forward nice. smash. Nice, gets a stop. Don't lose, no, you can't do that. I'm not free. It's next one. <laughs> it's even Mithra, uh, it's kind of interesting. Maybe just figuring that, like, Mithra's used to stay now. As I say that. Oh! Still alive? Still no alive. way! The up tilt? Oh. Okay, we going off? Oh! Oh, oh he oh, still made it back though. Oh. That was crazy. Oh, just didn't let him have it. That, yeah. <laughs> exactly. that so much. All right, so definitely some big signs of life from our oh, back there. No, the Might have saw. <laughs> yeah, might have lost the game, but Man. almost got what a crazy a clip. Yeah. When that thing gets popped you just you just cut out the yeah. <laughs> then he still that's, made that's it back. Like a fast montage <laughs> part where it's just one after. <laughs> Uh, we'll run back. Okay. Mm -hmm. Stop All right, game three here. I didn't. I missed the stage selection once again, but I love. Um, I love the anticipation and finding out where the they're going. Part of commentary is paying attention to which stage. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. <laughs> You're like recouping as to like what just went on. I'm still thinking about that downer. Yeah, exactly. But back to PS2. I mean, all three games being played here. Obviously, Barbaric's more so trying to learn the matchup rather than trying to take advantage of some maybe stronger okay. stages. Barbaric but... figuring out these... Oh, okay. Not this time. Luz was a little bit out of position. For yeah, that drifting in. Oh, not going to get the barrel explosion. So much damage on the already. Eighty-two. Ooh. We have more Z drops from Blues than we have from Barbaric. Yeah, honestly, I'm not seeing much banana really at all. And, and we kind of mentioned it earlier that uh, Barbaric doesn't really like to just fully disengage after getting a hit to get banana for free, but more so isn't prioritizing pulling banana at all. It's so hard to get in against those fire hitboxes. <laughs> Stream, I apologize for any music that may be leaking no. through right now. <laughs> Aloha knows the volume capacity. We're oh, good no, now. Uh, okay. Yeah. So we're, we're definitely, we're not listening to any music over here. <laughs> that was un unrelated comment. Oh! Oh! Not quite. Barrels are still in place somewhere. Oh, uh, okay. Ready. Calling out his landing with the up smash. I think I just heard them explode in the blast zone somewhere. <laughs> you see that game we played earlier where they came all the way across the stage again? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so that's something that most people don't know is that Diddy Kong Barrows you can control in a clockwise manner only. Oh, that's how it's it a is. weird thing, yeah. I'm not exactly sure why they limit it to, to that. Like it's not that great of an option per se. Okay, but Lou is really trying oh, no, to use. This is own banana. Yeah. That's not what you want to see. Barbaric in a really bad spot here. Yeah. Tournament stock. If yeah. They come up with something. This could be a three stock situation for Barbaric's tournament life. Oh, is that it? Oh my gosh. Get the air dodge read. Barbaric's been do excuse me, doing a lot of air dodges and does not choose to do it that time. I'm, going mm. I'm getting grabbed. Oh, but he yeah. gets the stock off. Nice. Okay. We got stock. Yeah, there we go. Now we just need two more. Not possible. 
starting something. Yeah, early percent combo there with the dash attack forward air, but put in disadvantage once again. So much ledge chopping we've been seeing from Luge in general. This aggressive ledge option's not working out for Barbaric. We've been seeing that all set. It's really risky to play that game against Tyra. Oh, I'm gonna get hit there by the Blazing End though. Blazing End starting to come out finally. Let's just see it again. Nope. More aggressive. Oh yeah, oh, we just a little bit too long, long on lit. Ends up getting frame trapped by it, and Luge getting the down air there on the ledge for a 3-0 win over Barbaric, and we'll continue in through losers bracket, meeting up with Cardo now in losers finals. All right, good stuff from both of these players. Barbaric may be out, but put on a great show all the way through this. Bracket. Yeah, I'm excited to see how that. Uh,